Dear viewers, the Supreme Court is likely to announce its verdict on the petitions challenging the Karnataka High Court verdict banning the hijab in the state's pre-university classrooms. Now, you remember, viewers, that the Karnataka government had decided to call upon all pre-university students to adhere to the uniform strictly, which meant that children who were coming in or youth who were coming into class with overt symbols, cultural symbols, could not do so. The hijab fell into that bracket and a large number of young girls were asked to remove the hijab, which created a massive furor. Petitions were filed in the Karnataka High Court before a single judge bench. That bench referred it to a three-judge bench. That bench came out and said that the hijab is not essential practice in Islam and therefore, therefore, Muslim girls going to pre-university must remove their hijab, not when they enter the campus, but only when they enter the classroom and observe to the T the dress code. Viewers, that particular judgment created a massive controversy and massive protest erupted. And many people, viewers, said that this represented the saffronization of our judiciary. Some people used stronger epithets against the courts. And finally, the matter reached the Supreme Court, where certain students filed appeals to say that the Karnataka High Court three-judge bench verdict must be scrapped. Well, after a 10-day marathon hearing in the Supreme Court in the month of September, which witnessed the ecosystem building the argument that the hijab is a religious right, that it's a garment that lends dignity to women, and ultimately the decision to wear it must be left to the choice of the woman itself. Tomorrow, we are being told that the Supreme Court will pronounce its verdict. Now, the question is, viewers, since that will be really the final verdict, will it be accepted? Will it be accepted? There are some basic questions. If the Supreme Court upholds the restriction on hijab in classroom, will the Muslim side still cry Islamophobia as it did when the High Court three-judge bench passed an order? If the principle of uniformity is upheld, will the ecosystem accuse the Supreme Court of turning saffron and furthering the cause of Hindutva as they have done in the past? It's the second big question. The third question is, given, given viewers, the message from Iran, can the hijab still be regarded as a badge of dignity as it is sought to be portrayed by lawyers who are arguing for the petitioners backing the hijab. Fundamental question, and I want to open this up, viewers, tonight. And I want to ask the question, first of Muhammad Asif Suhail, a political analyst. Mr. Suhail, will the Supreme Court's word be final? Or will you once again quibble about the Supreme Court and say, oh, this is representing, once again, the saffronization of the Supreme Court. Remember what people said after the Ayodhya judgment? Are we going to see a re repeat of that? Suhair Bhai? Rahul let's, uh, Rahul, let's wait for tomorrow. You know, the judgment has to come. You know, I, I believe that, you know, the court of law, the judges will keep in mind Article 25 and give the judgment. It's not on the basis of anything what they have been shown. Let's wait for no, it. I'm See, only asking, it's not sir, about I'm a not hijab. I'm not talking about the judgment. Talking, I'm only asking you. The, so, here by, personal practice. so here by, since you move the one. court, since since a large number let, of petitioners... Let it come. See, no, unless, no, one second. Uh, uh, I'm let, only asking you. Unless and until sir, we read the I'm judgment. I'm not asking you about the order per se. I'm not asking you what the verdict will be or will not be. I'm only asking you to give an assurance that yes, whatever it is, against, for, we will accept it. 
how difficult is that that's what i'm saying you know unless unless and until we uh, unless and until i read the order i cannot see it's a matter of judiciary it's not the Look matter of you know making caveat. a media trial or anything of by saying me or, Rizwan to, uh, accept or not Sayyid that's what Rizwan i'm saying let's let wait for why it. why today are some people not even given assurance that they will obey the law as set out by or interpreted by the highest court in this country this makes me worried because we know that some of these protests were infiltrated according to the government of india the ni itself by some very hardline radical organizations affiliated to even the pfi which is banned yeah thank you so much see i said the other day maybe in your debate that the ban on pfi because it was a nuisance making uh, organization it 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 tells me something that the government is coming out with new policies new bills which will be landmark and which will be radical number 1 number 2 like like i was in the debate with you and i humbly uh, made my submission that i really don't know that a 90 act of 1991 how will the honorable supreme court go about it or the government how how will they maneuver it i humbly submitted but here i said i say that under no circumstances rahul under no circumstances whatsoever the honorable supreme court shall sanction hijab within the school premises i am so sure about it because once the honorable supreme court finds hijab to be an essential part of islamic culture and gives a green green signal for the school it will have a pan india and a pan society effect tomorrow there is a girl she is she is in is she is in hospitality she is working in a five star hotel she is a muslim what tomorrow she will come up wearing a hijab and once the honorable supreme court says that it is an essential part of islam keeping the spirit letter and spirit of the constitution the management shall not be able to ask that girl to take off the hijab maybe a receptionist maybe our hostess so the honorable supreme court will not let it spill over pan india pan society and spill it over in pan campus pan school the campuses the education will be communalized i bet on it today that tomorrow the honorable supreme court is not coming in favor of hijab well we can't uh, obviously preempt uh, the supreme court but yes we have seen viewers what is happening in iran where the state which is of course uh, a uh, a state that uh, is a religious one there in a theocratic state therefore there if you don't wear the hijab because it's ordained you see what will happen to you we have already seen the cases of uh, certain women being uh, killed for resisting this and there is no question of choice then left look at the the congress has talked about choice priyanka gandhi vadra has talked about choice yet you never questioned those who got up in the supreme court and said let's make this or let's interpret it overturning the karnataka high court that said this is not an essential feature of islam uh, you never supported the karnataka high court but you went along as you did in the past even in shabano's case to support the more hardline uh, conservative elements at the at the risk of perhaps endangering millions and millions of women why would you do that mr jindal when your party is led by a woman who talks about empowerment choice why would you throw them into the hands of theocrats uh, rahul uh, it's, it's not fair to compare india with iran because india is so you are comparing you are wanting to do it you've gone to the supreme court at least people from let your me, ecosystem certain no no one second no you, you you know you can't get away with this sir every day you can't you are the ones who are saying that this should be like it is in iran in other muslim countries no, you no, have quoted no. an essential india, feature and i said you are wanting to make no no you are wanting to draw those comparisons in court you no, say no, it is a no no one second what did you say you said or at least those people said and and this is very important hijab is the identity of muslim girls 
Hijab does not disturb public order. Hijab is a symbol yes. of dignity for women. Look at yes. Jindal, Certainly. you are backing these arguments. Certainly. See, uh, Rahul, uh, we have the Digambar who take decisions so as to give away clothes. We have the Sikh religion where the turban is essential. So in India, there is a different way of life that is taken up voluntarily by people. Sir, what are you talking about? Sir, please, let's decide, not, let's not play. Sir, these are not to defining. Religion, even the Karnataka High Court has said it's not so a defining feature. Sir, please, where why are you... Where draw the line? Sir, Harvey Cox clearly says that secularism is in peaceful coexistence. You cannot be selective with respect to a particular religion that only this religion will not be allowed to practice or will not be allowed to be practiced. Now, this is the Congress a, talking. A this is the Congress a, talking that brought in the Places decision, of Worship Act 1991. If a, if a girl very quick, Mr. Ahmed wants, wants to counter you. Very quick. Rizwan Ahmed wants to counter you. Yeah, Rizwan Ahmed wants to counter you and I want to bring yeah, in ten seconds. Karan Verma right ten after seconds. Yes. Mr. Yeah. Lokesh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Mr. Yeah. Lokesh. Mr. Lokesh, as a, as a Congress uh, representative, do you subscribe to this idea that uh, a girl wearing a skirt sh should be allowed in a madarsa? Do you subscribe to this idea? What do you say about it? See, uh, please do not compare a skirt with that of hijab. You are drawing wrong parallels altogether. <laughs> you cannot compare skirt to that of what? <laughs> well, what are you comparing a hijab with that of a skirt? On what Sir, we are talking about choice. We are talking <laughs> no, about choice, which choice. is an argument that you have been throwing around. Your party, your party leaders have been throwing around. Listen, 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 the best no, of convent no, schools in this country are, are allowing skirts. The best of convent schools in this country, for God's sake, don't, don't make a skirt a pervert dress. Don't make skirt a pervert dress. What are you talking? What are you speaking? And Mr. Ahmed, let me also say one second. Jindal bhai, one second. Jindal bhai, one second. It is Priyanka Gandhi Vada. You're talking about skirts. She brought in the question of bikinis. Have we forgotten? What, uh, Karan Karan Varma. State exactly, was, let exactly. It be a choice. Let it be the decision taken by the women. Karan Varma. Who are Karan the Varma. Males How can there be choice if it becomes an essential feature of your you know, faith? You know, then it will be the patriarchs that will determine it, and people will not yeah. be able to even go out of their homes without it. And we've seen it in Iran. And when people say, "Oh, India is a secular state," let me tell you, viewers, that a secular state can only protect you once you're outside your house. But they can't determine what various patriarchs might actually impose on you within the four walls of your house. They may threaten you with excommunication. They may ban you from leaving the home if you want to exercise choice. And that's what's happening in Iran. Why are we blind to this and deaf to this message and the view, visuals that are coming in from there? Karan Varma, would you like to respond to the Congress tonight? You know, Rahul, uh, both Mr. Asif and Lokesh time and again mentioned Article 25. What they forget is, and it's, it's been set very clearly in precedent after precedent, whether it's the Shiru Mat case, Sabri Mala case or Triple Talak, and it goes back to Ambedkar's speech on 2nd December 1948 that only essential features shall be considered under Article 25. Now, what are the five pillars of Islam? They are Shada, Prayer, Zakat, Hajj and Fasting. Hijab, Veil, this doesn't come under the five pillars. And the Karnataka High Court, the order, Rahul, it mentions two things very clearly. One, this does not come under Article 25, which is very clear theologically also. And Article 19, which is the freedom of expression, it is not absolute. It is subject to reasonable restrictions, which are the restrictions of the institution. Hence, I am 200% sure and I second Rizwan okay. Bhai that tomorrow the verdict well, is going to uphold the Karnataka Well, let me tell order. you viewers, we, cannot have we are not going to preempt what the Supreme Court Freedom is going is to do. Only valued, unfortunately, These when are views. people start losing sure. it as in Iran. Sure, I understand. Look, I understand. We might all yeah, these here are sit and yeah, second guess. You are entitled to do that, but of course the Supreme Court viewers has a mind of its own. It's going to apply its own mind. We are not preempting, we are not trying to force or push or extract any particular order from the Supreme Court. Uh, just to say that tomorrow will be a major day, viewers, a major day. And I'll take a break here. 
Coming up, the news are.